Elon Musk isn't one to waste words, especially not on Tesla earnings calls. But during the latest update in 2025, he said something that made ears perk up across the auto and tech world. It wasn't about robot access or AI, but something seemingly much simpler, batteries. Not just a small improvement, not a 5% boost here or a 10-minute faster charge there, but something big, something fundamental. And Tesla isn't just talking. They're already building. Out in the Nevada desert, a project that sounds more like a sci-fi utopia than a charging site has quietly come to life. It's called Project Oasis. In just eight months, Tesla transformed a barren stretch of land into the largest supercharger installation ever attempted. It's already live in parts, powering up with over 80 working chargers, fueled by solar canopies and energy pulled straight from 10 massive megapacks. But the most fascinating part isn't what you see above ground. It's what Tesla is hiding behind closed doors, and what's coming next inside their newest car. There's a new battery in development, and it doesn't follow the rules. It doesn't look like anything currently on the market. And it isn't just another version of lithium-ion. Instead, Tesla might be preparing to leave lithium behind, or at least, give it a powerful new partner. Inside the upcoming Model 2, set to debut in 2026, Tesla has reportedly created a hybrid battery that combines aluminum and lithium in a way never seen before. This isn't a minor tweak. It's a reimagining of how an electric vehicle gets its power, how it manages energy, and how it lives and breathes under real-world conditions. Let's break down what makes this battery so unique. Instead of relying solely on copper for its internal structure, like nearly every other EV battery does, Tesla's team has switched to ultra-thin aluminum layers. These strips are lighter than copper, easier to work with, and surprisingly efficient at conducting energy. Though aluminum isn't quite as conductive as copper per gram, its weight savings tip the balance when you're trying to design a car that moves faster, travels farther, and sips less energy doing it. But aluminum doesn't just serve as a skeleton. In this new battery architecture, it's been turned into an active part of the energy transfer system. Engineers have figured out a way to coat the graphite anode, the side of the battery that stores energy while charging, with microscopic aluminum particles. These act like high-speed lanes, letting ions pass through with less resistance and more precision. Research suggests this can supercharge ion movement by a significant margin. Meanwhile, the cathode has been redesigned into a layered composite that includes conductive carbon paper and alternating slices of aluminum. The goal? Reduce energy loss. Let the electrons flow freely without bouncing around or losing heat. Now, where does lithium fit into this story? It's still here, but it's not acting alone. In this hybrid setup, lithium plays more of a guiding role. Think of lithium ions as scouts. They dart ahead quickly when you hit the accelerator or tap the brakes, helping the battery respond instantly. The aluminum ions, which carry more charge per particle, follow behind like the muscle, delivering the bulk of the energy. This dual ion dance, fast and light lithium with dense and heavy aluminum, is what gives the new battery its edge. Reports suggest energy density figures that are several times higher than the standard batteries found in today's electric cars. But raw power isn't the only impressive feature. This new battery doesn't just perform well, it behaves more like a living system. It adapts. It learns. And in some cases, it can even heal itself. Let's say you're pushing your car hard. Fast charges, steep climbs, high speeds. In traditional lithium batteries, stress builds up and creates tiny fractures inside the material. Over time, those fractures grow, weakening the battery. But in the new Tesla design, aluminum particles migrate toward these microcracks and seal them. Like a cut healing on your skin, the battery repairs itself on the fly. At the same time, lithium ions maintain a constantly refreshing protective surface on the anode, regulating internal chemistry and preventing decay. A new kind of electrolyte, closer to a living fluid than a solid or gel, flows throughout the cell. It's mobile, active, and ready to step in if electrical contact is lost inside the battery. It's almost like blood moving through a circulatory system. The battery can also go into a kind of sleep mode. If your car sits idle for weeks or months, the system reduces its internal activity, 
preserving almost all of its charge for over half a year. And when you're ready to drive again, it wakes up in less than a second, with no performance drop. The adaptability doesn't stop there. Thanks to a built-in AI system, the battery knows how to shift gears depending on outside conditions. In freezing weather, the battery prioritizes aluminum, which handles cold better and stays stable. In extreme heat, lithium takes over, adjusting to keep things cool and efficient. All of this happens automatically, no driver input required. Internal tests show that the battery can operate in nearly 50 different configurations depending on factors like weather, driving history, and how much you've charged lately. And safety? That's been re-engineered too. One of the most dangerous things in a traditional battery is if the separator fails. That thin membrane keeps the two sides of the battery from touching and causing a short. If it rips, the result can be dangerous. Tesla has upgraded this with a smart polymer that can sense damage and physically shrink to protect the system. It tightens like a reflex, keeping the battery intact. Let's talk about the shape of this thing. The battery cell itself is built more like a layered cake than a traditional cylinder or pouch. At the core sits a solid aluminum block. Think of it as the main power bank. Surrounding it is a ring of lithium-rich gel, which not only contributes power but handles thermal control. That outer layer acts as both a voltage regulator and a shock absorber. If you're off-roading or taking sharp turns, it protects the aluminum center from warping under pressure. And this isn't one big monolithic battery either. Inside each cell are dozens of smaller microcells, tiny, self-contained units arranged in a fractal pattern. If one gets damaged, the system isolates it, reroutes power, and continues functioning. These microcells can even be replaced by a robot in a matter of minutes. No need to toss the entire battery for one flaw. At the heart of it all lies an incredibly advanced battery management system, driven by a neural network. Sensors throughout the battery constantly measure everything. Temperature, pressure, ion movement, even tiny signs of wear. Data is sampled thousands of times per second. If anything looks off, the AI intervenes immediately. It might slow charging, redistribute current, or even send small electrical pulses to stimulate healing at the microscopic level. And this system doesn't just react, it learns. It picks up on your driving habits, daily routines, charging preferences, even traffic patterns. If the car senses you're in a hurry, say, during a morning commute, it will charge faster and push performance. If you're parked overnight at home, it relaxes, charges more slowly, and protects long-term battery life. The battery can execute hundreds of personalized responses depending on the context. That includes everything from balancing cell loads, adjusting temperature profiles, limiting output in dangerous weather, and preparing for long-term storage. No other battery on the market right now behaves like this. It's not just smarter, it's fundamentally different. So what is this really? A power source? Or something closer to synthetic intelligence? A system that can adapt, respond, protect, and even make decisions without human input. With this hybrid platform, Tesla didn't just tweak the math. They rewrote the formula. By combining aluminum strength with lithium's agility and wrapping it all in a shell of AI, fluid dynamics, and modular repair, they may have built the first electric car battery that truly lives. The Model 2 might not just be Tesla's cheapest car. It might be their most advanced. 